let's assume that, okay, they do make that horrible movie and we go see it. And right now, the man on the, being the front runner of the whole circus is Martin Scorsese. Uh, either he's going to be a producer or he wants to direct. And if we're going to talk about Martin Scorsese, we need to talk about his golden boy, the meme himself, Leo DiCaprio. There's something about Leonardo DiCaprio that I don't like, that I, I think it's, it's a terrible idea to have him be as the Joker. There's something. I can't quite put my finger on it. something about his acting you know <laughs> I'm sorry okay so yes Leonardo DiCaprio loves to scream he has a very big dramatic capability he, he's very intense and that's why he often does drama because dramas often have like this huge piece in the center when you can chew all the scenery and just go ah, ah, ah. And, and Leonardo DiCaprio is really good at it um, but but the thing about the Joker and I think it's it's the thing that that actors that have tried to portray him that that cannot do it right <clears throat> It's because they, they think that the Joker, it's bombastic and it's all about the huge laugh and the ah, 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 ah. And that sounded like the penguin <laughs> and whatnot. And they forget that in order to make a good character that is like loud have an impact is to also take, uh, take account of the silent moments that he does. Uh, that's why characters like uh, char actors like uh, Jack Nicholson and Heath Ledger were actually surprisingly good. Well, Heath Ledger, like we all know that Jack, Jack Nicholson is like the Joker, pretty much he has the face. But but for instance, Jack Nicholson knew that he also had to be, have times where he was quiet. You know, for instance, this scene. And Bob, remember. Uh, Heat Leisure, the same. The most, uh, the most important scene, I think, of, of him being the Joker is the interrogation scene. And, and he's very quiet. He's not loud. He's not, not like mocking, uh, mocking Batman and being like, ah, ha, 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 I'm the Joker. And, and Jared Leto didn't know this. Jared Leto was all about the, the overly dramatic and, and you know, this. And that's why I, I, I think that he failed. Also, um, actors like, like Jared Leto and Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, they're known for being very method, methodical act, well, method actors, which is that they, they go so in deep with their characters that they think they are them. And, and it really shows that Jared Leto had no idea what he was doing. When he sent that uh, Margot Robbie used condoms, mm. it's not it's not that he did something incredibly stupid and, and disgusting, but it's rather that it's not funny. Why would sending the girlfriend a used condom be funny? What's the joke? Where's the punchline? That's not how you set up a joke, man. <laughs> So th that is my issue with this kind of people, that there's, their, their ability for dramatism 
is so embedded into them that characters like this just kind of goes over their head. They're like, no, 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 I have to be dramatic. You know, it's all about the laughter. It's all about the big moment when I go, ah, ha, 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 ha. Like, no. And that's my fear with Leonardo DiCaprio because Leonardo DiCaprio is always waiting for that moment in the movie, you know, like in the middle of the movie when he can just go like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and there's a reason why he had to wait so many freaking years to get an Oscar. And it was the movie where he got beat the living shit uh, by a bear, because he was quiet. <laughs> uh, in the other video, I said that I don't think this movie is gonna work because the story surveillance are very hard to do properly. And knowing Martin Scorsese, he, he can be um, not as dramatic and 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 you know. Um, he can be greedy in a good way and ironic. Like, for instance, The Departed with another copy of which is a movie I really, really like. Um, and, and it's not that Leonardo DiCaprio cannot uh, make fun of himself and not take everything so seriously. Like, for instance, in The Wall of Wall Street, he surprised me a lot. I don't really, as you can tell, I don't really like his acting that much, but in that movie, I was pleasantly surprised because the character was, he wasn't taking as seriously what the character was uh, doing. He, he was in for the ride. So I really don't think it's going to work out, but Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio are, are a good team. And um, hey, maybe they will bring us something different. I mean, they already, the DC, DC already gave us this. Maybe, maybe something different and new could work. I don't know. One last one. Now! What's it gonna be, Doc? Huh? What's it gonna be? Man, let's no! I'm sorry! <laughs> so, um, I, I got it now, I got it now. Share, like, and subscribe. Ah! <laughs> What do you think? Yes? No? <laughs> um, the 15th of September is the Independence Day here in Mexico and I will upload a video about uh, a very quick uh, history of Mexican cinema before I start doing reviews of Mexican movies. So, see you then. Thanks for stopping by. Bye!